Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to part two of a Puppet Pizzazz Extravaganza Summer Reading Program. And now, let's welcome to the screen the one, the only, Mr. Greg. Sometimes, when I tell people what I do for a living, they'll say things like, Oh yeah, I know what you do. Uh, you play with dolls. That's right, you play with dolls with strings on them. Well, I must admit, sometimes I do. Oh, oh, oh my, uh, I didn't see you over there. Um, uh, hello, uh, I don't think that we've met. Perhaps I should make an introduction. Hello, new friends. Allow me to make this introduction. My name is Mary. That's right. Mary is my first name, and I thought it would be fun if you could try to guess my last name. So, let's try again. My first name is Mary. My last name is... Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I, I heard somebody out there say Mary Poppins. I did enjoy those movies, but that's not me. No. Oh, oh, what's that? Mary had a little lamb? <laughs> no, that's not me either. Oh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. I love it, but absolutely not. Now, my first name is Mary. My last name is... Uh, oh, give up. Why don't you? I'm just going to tell you. My first name is Mary. My last name is Annette. Mary Annette. Oh, oh, oh that's a little puppetry joke. Did you get it? Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Oh, oh, get Miss Mary Annette is a very special puppet from my international puppetry collection. She was made in the country called the Czech Republic. I bought her at a puppetry store in Prague. They love puppetry there. In fact, there are more puppet stores in Prague than there are McDonald's. Oh, Snow White! Where are you, sweetheart? Snow White? Where? Oh, oh there you are! Oh, don't worry, darling. Nothing to be afraid of. I'm just a very sweet old grandma. You look hungry. Would you like a bite of this red, delicious apple? What? How dare you call me a witch? I'm not just a witch. I am a marionette witch. <laughs> Did you hear a dog barking? Is that your dog? Oh, excuse me. I think that must be my dog. Oh, come on, here, here, boy, here, boy, here, boy. Hello, hello, everybody. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Trash Can Puppy Dog, man's best friend, and Mr. Greg's best friend. Isn't that right, Mr. Greg? Isn't that right? <laughs> That's right, Mr. Mr. Trash Can Puppy Dog. You are a good friend of mine. Oh. Mr. Greg, I'm glad to hear you saying that because I've been a little worried. Whoa! I'm nervous about something. What is it? You know you could tell me anything. Mr. Greg, I'm afraid I've been a bad puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Greg, when you weren't paying attention, whoa, I snuck into your puppet making room and I had a little snack. You could say I ate some junk food, and I'm not talking about Fritos or potato chips. Oh, Mr. Greg, I'm really paying for it now. My doggy belly is all upset. Hey, hold on. We better go outside. I don't think I can make it that far. Oh, Mr. Trash Can Dog, what a mess you made. I better clean this up. I'm going to be in big trouble. There's not supposed to be any dogs in this house. Oh, oh. 
Does anybody know what this used to be? Yes, this used to be one of these. A plastic Hawaiian lei necklace for my uh, Hawaiian dancing or puppet making. What a, whoa, <laughs> an old piece of an egg carton here. I wonder what we could do with that. Uh, oh, piece of a toilet paper tissue roll. Uh, bottles, boxes, I see some bottle caps down there and, whoa, oh my, Mr. Greg. Oh, I hope everybody's okay. I am so embarrassed. I am so, so embarrassed. I please forgive me, everybody. I, this doesn't happen every day. Well, almost every day. Well, I'm sorry it had to happen in front of all of our new friends here. That's okay, Mr. Trash Can Dog. Uh, listen, I, I better get back to them and I will talk to you later. Oh, Mr. Greg, I feel like I'm in the dog house. Whoa! Ruff, 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 ruff. Today, I'm imagining that this beautiful piece of fabric is the ocean. Come on, everybody, join me in the ocean. This is my octopus puppet, made from a broken umbrella. I took the material off the spokes of the umbrella and I put my own material on. I use plastic bags from my Sunday newspaper. And if you look closely, you can see some suction cups on the tentacles of this octopus. Those are water bottle lids. I love to recycle all my lids. Take a look at the head. It's a large plastic bag filled up with smaller plastic bags. And once again, I use lids for the eyes. The white circles, they came from yogurt. The black circles, they came from orange juice. And I think the blue lids came from milk. Now, if you're gonna make your own octopus puppet, it's most likely going to look lots different than mine. 
you'll find different materials to use. And that's a good thing. It will make your puppet unique for you. I was hoping you might want to learn how to make your own jellyfish puppet. Your jellyfish marionette puppet. Because you're holding on to a string to move or manipulate your puppet. Its head is made out of a plastic strainer or colander. It was great to use because I was able to attach the string through the holes that were already made in the colander. Can anybody guess what its tentacles are made out of? One of these, a plastic Hawaiian lei pulled apart, Ooh, something like that. Now, if you don't happen to have any plastic Hawaiian leis, don't let that stop you from making a jellyfish. There's other materials you might be able to use. Uh, hey, check out this little jellyfish. Can you see what his tentacles are made out of? Not those plastic Hawaiian leis, but actually I used pieces of ribbon and I curled the ribbon to make those great tentacles. His head is actually made out of a, a paper disposable plate meant for a picnic. And, and I did use some craft pom-poms for his eyes with a little circle of black paper I cut out for the pupil. And the last jellyfish His little body is actually a paper bowl, also meant for a picnic. And his tentacles, I used um, sequins. I thought that would be pretty. And, and the string that's holding on or moving or, or manipulating our marionette is actually Mardi Gras beads. Those beads might be a great idea for tentacles as well. Or uh, maybe you think about some yarn uh, or... Great tentacles could be made out of a, uh, have you ever heard of crepe paper? Another idea for you. I'm sure you could think of something that will really make a great jellyfish. Oh, eyes, water bottle lids. I collect all my lids. Uh, the white ones came from uh, water and uh, the blue lids actually were for some uh, juice. Being a puppeteer has given me the opportunity to travel all around the world. I particularly like going to Africa. I went to the Sudan and taught in an international school in Khartoum. While there, I showed teachers how they could take umbrellas and turn them into puppets. One teacher loved the idea so much, she gave me this beautiful present. It's an umbrella not meant for the rain, but meant to create shade. It's actually an Ethiopian ceremonial shade umbrella. When she gave me this terrific present, she said, Mr. Greg, I'd like to give you a bit of a challenge. Perhaps someday you could put this umbrella into one of your puppet umbrella stories. Once upon a time, when the world was new and the sky was filled with stars, there was a spider in West Africa named Anansi. Oh, 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 oh. hey everybody, I am Anansi! One day, Anansi was out and about checking on his webs, when suddenly he looked up into the sky and he said, Oh my, take a look up there. The stars are so bright and, and twinkly. You know, I think they would make a perfect present for my wife. And so Anansi went and found a giant sack. He put it on his back. And then he climbed up a very tall tree and he jumped right up into the heavens. He made webs from star to star, and then he started to pick the stars out of the sky one at a time and put them in his sack. As Anansi did this, 
it began to get darker and darker and darker until at last it was totally black. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Who turned out all the lights? Oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to find my way home. But Anansi could find his way home because his wife was crying. <laughs> oh, where is Anansi? Where is my, my husband? Oh, I'm so worried about him, Anansi! Oh, sweetheart, sweetheart, I'm right here. Oh, Anansi, what a relief. I was so worried about you. Oh, darling, you shouldn't have worried. I was collecting a gift for you. Collecting a gift for me? What are you talking about, Anansi? Take a look in the giant sack. Oh, oh no. Oh, Anansi, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, oh, Anansi, Anansi, you shouldn't have, but I did. Oh, Anansi. The stars. That's right, darling. I give you the stars. Oh, Anansi, uh, um, listen, darling, uh, I do appreciate a gift, but the, the stars, I, I think they were actually much more beautiful up in the sky and, and much more practical, too. And with that, Anansi's wife, she flung the stars uh, up into the heavens. Oh, Anansi, what's going on down there? <laughs> I'm the one crying now. Oh, Anansi, what are you crying about? Hey, 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 listen, come, come join me up here. Oh, you didn't like the present that I gave to you. Oh, Anansi, I love the present. But listen, my dear, a present as nice as the stars needs to be shared and enjoyed by everyone. Oh, and so it is. To this very day, the stars still shine up in the sky for everyone to share and enjoy. Finally, my turn. Woo yeah! Howdy ho, everybody. My name is Cowboy Bob, and I am Mr. Greg's next door neighbor. We live in Texas, if you didn't guess. <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna tell you a riddle and a couple of jokes. How about it? Get ready. Put on your thinking cap. I'm gonna start with the riddle. Okay, now pay attention. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, oh, oh I, I got it now, I got it. Um, hoo -hoo. A cowboy rode into town on Friday, and he spent three nights, and then he went back on Friday. Now, how the doggone is that possible? To, I, oh, oh, wait a minute. I see some smarty pants has the answer out there. <laughs> That's right. The cowboy's horse's name was Friday. But um bump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love that one. That's a good one. That's a that's a that's a darn too good joke. I, hey, hey, I got it. Oh no, that wasn't a joke. That was a riddle. But here is the joke. Okay. Now, what did the cowboy say when his little puppy dog ran away? He said, "Dog gone." <laughs> Did you get it, doggone? Oh, oh, you must not be from Texas. Okay, one more joke, one more joke. What was the cowboy's reply when the people on the stagecoach accused him of passing gas? Darn tootin'. <laughs> hey, darn tootin', that's something the cowboys say like, like doggone. You, you, you didn't get that one either, did you? Okay, well, you, you know what, Houston, I think we've got a problem. I don't know about you, but somebody or something has been following me today. I think you better stay right there. I, I'm going to take a look around, okay, so stay right there. Here, here, I'm going to take a look around, see what's going on back here. I, I, no, I do not see anything back here. Nothing's back here. Oh, wait a minute, whose back is back here? What, 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 hey, hey, wait, no, no, what, what's going on here? Hey, get, 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 get that, oh, whoa, <laughs> now, hey, hey, uh, Mr. Greg, oh, oh, my goodness, there's somebody bald and silly looking back there. That's not very nice. Well, I'm a puppet, I don't have to be so nice. <laughs>
sure have enjoyed sharing with you some of my puppet pizzazz collection. Hopefully you have some ideas now for making your own puppet characters. Before we say goodbye, I was wondering if anybody out there would like to meet a giant eight foot tall puppet. Oh good. Well listen, she doesn't fit inside of my puppet studio. She's waiting out back in my backyard. Come on, let's go. My name is Bossy May, Bossy May Bovine. I'm just one of Mr. Greg's outdoor pets here in Texas. Moo! I heard you've been learning about puppetry. I love puppets. I love puppets. I love puppets so much I want to moo. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, whoa. <laughs> whoa. So, that is a giant puppet. Do you like it? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed meeting some puppet pizzazz characters. And perhaps you have been inspired to make some puppets on your own. So get busy, stay safe, have fun, and go make some puppets. <laughs>